As the moon rises in the oncoming dawn, so does my well-being. High into the sky, as I am happy to tell you that loose mode is now behind us. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we entered for the first time Ryoshima Coast, one of my favorite areas of this game. And we explored it and grabbed some collectibles, and we just had an awesome time. It was really great. And also, that was the last uh, last episode where loose mode applied, because I am no longer partially deaf. My tonsils only bother me in the very early mornings and late evenings, which does not conflict with my recording schedule at all. And these dogs are barking at me. Yeah. Stop barking at me. I'll stop. Uh, let me go over here where, where they won't distract me. So, yeah. I am not completely better. I mean, I'm, I'm still bothered by my ears uh, a little bit. Um, and my tonsils do bother me a, tini a tiny bit as well. But not enough that it's going to be, be interfering with my recording schedule at all. And I'm just, I'm such a good, um, such a good state of recovery that I can confidently say that loose mode will not be reappearing for some time. So, yeah. At least not because of this illness. Hopefully I won't catch another one. But I'm going to rem remain optimistic and say that I will not catch another illness. Come here. Come here, dog. So, this episode, we're going to be exploring Ryoshima Coast a little bit more, and we're going to be grabbing some collectibles and some other stuff. I don't want to spoil what's going to happen. And, yeah, let's go ahead and do that by feeding these dogs, and then we can start this out. Alright, uh, something I discovered in between episodes is that... Um, if you remember last episode, I had run along the beach collecting clamshells and, well, not collecting clamshells, but opening them and, and collecting their, um, their treasures. However, I realized that I only did half the job, because if I jump down here, down this cliff, there are more clamshells down here. So I, I've decided that I'm going to speed up and uh, play some music while I commentate. Because I would like to ask you guys something. Uh, if you remember last episode, I did talk quite extensively about my game review series. And that game review series got me thinking. Well, not just the game game review series, but everything that went along with it. I've been actually thinking about this for quite some time. But the game review series kind of... In the spirit of me asking you guys to suggest things, I've decided that I would like to ask you yet another thing as I grab some of these treasures. Uh, if, you guys probably know that my game review was blind. And that got me thinking. Um, all my LPs that I've done so far are either games that I played as a child, or I got on the launch date, or I just got because of someone else's LP, and I played them quite extensively, uh, and I know them very, very well. But... Should I should I keep doing that? I mean, I'm not I'm not saying I won't play my childhood games because I I do have some of them planned, but I'm wondering if you guys would like to like me to do a blind LP sometime. Um, I have a couple games in mind. I won't mention them because uh, it'll kind of spoil things. But I'm just wondering if you guys would like that. It's just something that I'd like you to post in the comments because I'd like to know if that's something you'd be excited for. Or maybe you'd like me to uh, wait a couple L of LPs before I do so. So, yeah, that's something I've just been wondering. So, anyway, as we cut back, let me go ahead and just ask you to post in the comments whether or not you'd like to see me do a blind LP. Alright, let's go ahead and get back into uh, live mode. Alright, uh... Something, the next thing that I'd like to do, since we have all of the clamshells to my knowledge in Ryoshima Coast and all of their contents, I would like to mention that in between episodes, I did restock at the merchants, and during that time, I uh, took the opportunity to sell all of the loot that I had collected last episode and in the previous episodes, so I'd just like to bark and show you guys my money count because it has changed in between episodes. I believe it's still higher, even though I, I bought some stuff. Really, all I bought, though, are some feed bags to restock. Um, so, yeah, I have 84,000 yen, which we will spend very, very soon. So, with that out of the way, I would like to swim on over to that sunken ship, because that's something that 
any first timer of this game always wants to check out. I mean, you you restore Ryushima Coast and it's beautiful. You you kind of get awed by the music. At least I was I was very um, awe-stricken by the music. But when when it shows that cinematic of you restoring the um, the coast, also Gale Storm actually affects these and it will push it like a boat, which is something that you should really know because it's really useful. Um, when you first come into this area and you see this this area restored and you see the sunken ship, it just kind of out of place for the game. It's it's just something that's so unique. It's not something that was copied and copied and pasted from some other area. Although I can't really accuse of this game of doing that ever because even in the very similar areas like um, Taka Pass and Shinshu Field, nothing is copied and pasted. I mean, everything's unique. But well. Not everything in this game is unique, just, like, we haven't really encountered that yet. So, yeah, um, this, this is so unique that you just can't help to be, but be drawn to it. Especially with what that naked fisherman mentioned, how he said, you know, that there's a, a treasure in here. You just really want to swim out here and explore, and you can. So anyway, uh, I've been hovering over this screen a little bit too long. Let me go ahead and read what Isun has to tell us. What a sorry sight. Bet it was one sweet ship in its heyday. It could have been carrying lots of stuff on board. But how are we going to get in without drowning? Uh, that is a question for a later time. We can see there's an en entrance below the, the surface, but we can't really get in that. Although, w uh, foreshadowing, I probably shouldn't be spoiling this, but since there's an entrance right there, you guys can probably assume that we will be entering the ship at some time. Uh, I can't tell you when. So anyway, on top of the ship, if you just run along the uh, the mast right there, you will be able to climb up on top of the cabin and grab a stray bead that's on top of the cabin. And also, there is, in this chest, a golden peach, which I don't really care about, but I won't sell, because I won't sell it because of that uh, accursed RPG syndrome. You guys know what I'm talking about. You, the RPG syndrome where you never want to sell anything because you you always think that you will use it but you actually never do because you're holding off for some uh, more important need yeah you pretty much everyone is is a victim of RPG syndrome it's very sad because the game designers painstakingly program all these items in the game they're like man this people get a lot of a lot of use out of this and then people are like Wow, that's this is so good. I can't use it right now. I don't want to waste it. So, yeah. That's kind of my rant on that. So anyway, let's go ahead and swim over to this island. Which is another thing that I, I kind of wanted to swim to last episode, but we just did not have time. And also, I had to kind of keep the episode short when my throat was bar bothering me. I mean, you guys didn't really get to see the quote-unquote shortness, but you guys probably noticed it from the fact that I spoke more quietly. I didn't really have any outbursts, and... In pretty much every loading screen or menu thing that I had to cut out, I was coughing like crazy or sniffing, which sounds very suggestive. Where, where are those monkeys? Monkey? Monkeys! Okay, let me go and feed these. Wow, 446 preys. I should upgrade my stuff. So and anyway, on this island is another lookout platform, which the cutscene will interrupt me showing you guys. Um, there's another lookout platform, there's Demon Scroll, uh, which, um, uh, no, I, I'm not gonna bother. And there is a dig spot right here, but it's beneath solid rock, so we cannot get to it. And then there's this building. This is, you guys probably guessed it, Dojo. Come, uh, come on in, bring your friends to the Dojo. If your family fights together, they, or if your family plays together, they stay together, I don't know. It's just me, or does this place seem desperate for customers? I'll say, it's like, like at the worst location possible. If you guys know how to swim, and you're also fighters, come to the dojo, which is very inconveniently on this island. Really, this should be like a resort. It should totally be a resort. Anyway, let's go and go into the dojo. And, we see a familiar face. Very welcome, familiar face. Onigiri Sensei! Uh, what was my voice for him? Oh yeah, Cell! I haven't done him in a handful of episodes because of my, my maladies. So let's go ahead and do the Cell voice. 
Look who's here. Greetings, my little wolf friend. Uh, huh? Hey, Gramps. What are you doing here? I am as elusive as my fighting skills, friend. Be it a lone isle among the waves, or the most frigid mountain peak. Uh, I forge a warrior's path throughout the land. And what has brought you here? Do you once again come to seek my tutelage in the fighting arts? Yes, I do. Uh, the first technique that he has available, which he has a bunch of new ones, is Holy Eagle. Press the A button again in the air to jump a second time. Uh, totally, I'm going to be buying this for 20,000 yen. All of these are very expensive, however, they're very worth your while to grab. I'm going to be spending a lot of my money on these, because jumping in the air a second time, that's pretty much required in the game, to my knowledge. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Digging Champ! It, uh, become the ultimate digger. Dig in terrain that was impossible before. That's another thing I'm going to be grabbing. So we can now tackle those uh, very hard to dig spots. Okay, and this is five wins. If you've mastered four wins, add a fifth hit to, to the powerful reflector combo. Which is exact. I have no idea why I would need to explain that. Uh, next is Spirit Armageddon. You've mastered Spirit Storm. Further increase Rosary attack rate. Uh, Self-explanatory. Three Shears. Add a third hit to your standard Glaive attack combo. Uh, I kind of want to grab that. I really want to grab that, actually. But it's 40,000 yen, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to afford it. Uh, Wailing Mirror. This is very unique. This is actually pretty much very worth your while to grab. Um... Equip reflectors as a main and su a main as sub sub weapons to increase attack power. Uh, right now in the game, this is super useful. If you don't want to grab, if you're not looking for 100%, so you're not grabbing uh, digging champ, then this is very worth your while to grab because um, what you what you could do is since we have three tiers of reflectors unlocked at this point. You could equip your tier three as your main and your tier two as a sub, and they both get a power boost since you're equipping two of the same uh, class of weapon uh, next is golden fury which was no this was yeah this was at um, the other dojo I believe press the C button to insult foes and get demon fangs I'll be going over this much later because as you can see this is 100,000 yen and uh, I don't even have close to that I don't ha even have everything uh, next is Bra uh, brown rage if you master Golden Fury, add insult to injury with this. I will not be going over this yet because this is a, a lot of money. Uh, Two million yen? Yeah, I will never be able to afford that uh, right now. So let's go ahead. Never right now. That's very contradictory. So anyway, let's go ahead and grab Holy Eagle. I'm honestly not sure if I should show this or speed up or what. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab this but not show the tutorial, and then just go outside and show you for realsies, because otherwise this would take too much time. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, unless it's like a fighting technique, I don't really think that I should show it. So let's go ahead and learn this, and then I will show, I will show you after I learn it. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Yeah, that, this, is a, this is a great sign for being a Let's Player. I've changed my mind over what I just said. I'm going to show this. Uh, I'll just skip past most of the, of the text because I can explain it myself. It is basically a double jump. That's all there is to it. Uh, just like any, just like your normal jump, if you hold down the A button when you jump, you will jump higher than if you just tap it. So you can use that to kind of uh, vary the distance of your jumps. And I don't know why it says on guard because we're not fighting. So anyway, you see this really tall platform? Well, it's actually very easy to climb. Because we can just press A and A and reach the top in two jumps. It's very simple. I have no idea why they even need to explain it. However, this is it is good to do this training. Um, right here, he will drop a Holy Bone M. That's why it's worth your while to do this. So let's go ahead and jump down. And leave this place. And now I will show the other technique we're going to be grabbing from him. Digging champ, because this will allow us to grab some stray beads that we ha haven't been able to grab before. Or at least one. So let's go ahead and do this. 
Yes, we know everything. Let's go and skip this. And I will skip his instructions because I'll just explain it myself. This is really... This isn't really any different from what you've been doing before. It just gives you the ability to dig through solid, uh, solid rock. It, it's no different. You don't have to press any different buttons. You just press C on this and you can dig right through it. And it kind of blows up. But that's, that's really it. It's really not something that they need to give you a tutorial on. It really actually, it really, it really, wow, how many times am I, am I going to say really? Um, it doesn't really seem like a, a fighting technique. It really seems like something you just buy in a store. Um, they, that's what they should have done. They should have just sold it in a store and just been like, you can now do this and not done this tutorial. So anyway, uh, do I have enough money to <coughs> buy another technique? I'm not sure. I think I do. Let's let's see what's available. I'd really like to grab that that uh glaive technique. However, it's forty thousand yen and I'm a few yen short or a few thousand yen short. I guess if I sold some of my um some of my loot I could grab that, but I don't wanna take that trouble, so Huh. We're likely not to get another reflector anytime soon. I I, th I think that that grabbing um, Spirit Armageddon because we only have two tiers of... Huh. This is a dilemma. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is actually exit. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and sell my loot and then I'm going to return here and grab this off screen. So by, when I exit this, I will actually have the glaive technique with me and I'll have a third hit which I'll be able to show off in the demon scroll so yeah I'll do that in between my cuts alright uh, off screen I went ahead and sold all of my treasures and I was 3000 yen short yeah however there's good news because I realized that I could just sell off some of my in inventory and the coolest thing was, I didn't have to sell off much, because uh, every Exorcism Slip S is worth 2,000 yen. So I just sold off two of those, and now I have my my uh, Glaive Technique. So let's go ahead and turn it into nighttime, so we can fight that Demon Scroll, and I can show it off. And after the cinematic happens, then I'll be able to show you all three of the techniques. The first one is Digging Champ which we've learned before and I showed you me learning it but it allows you to dig through solid rock and grab this stray bead and the second one is whatever it's called it's very sad that I don't know what it's called uh, it allows us to jump a second time and grab this a crystal which admittedly I could have probably grabbed on my way over there and not had to sell a uh, exorcism slip but I wanted to show that so there it was. And finally, a demon scroll in which I can show off the glaive technique. Let's go ahead and charge up a power up and hit it. No. Okay. Let's go ahead and blow this away. And you can see the power of the third hit. It's actually a multi hit move, which is very nice. One, two, three. Done. Okay. Now we can exit and go ahead and continue on with our lives. Also, you can see that I have a very, very, very measly 4,857 4, yen left. So when we go into the city, I'll need to probably either grind or just wait a really long time to uh, buy stuff, which is sad. So anyway, let's go ahead and go up there because we were not able to go up there before and jump up on top of that lookout platform and see what is up there. I believe there is a chest up there. I'm not certain about that though. Anyway, let's go. I, I really, really feel that Amaterasu is super powerful now. Like, I feel good about things. Also, there was not a chest up there. Hey, what's up with you? Oh, I know. You want to climb this. Well, you learned that move, didn't you? What are you waiting for? Jump with everything you got. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. It was easy. Hey, 
Wow, what a nice view. Too bad it's spoiled by that sunken ship. What do you mean spoiled? That thing's cool. Sorry, a sorry looking thing, ain't it? Hey, look. What's that strange pattern on the bottom of the sea? Looks like a huge crescent moon or something. It's shaped too perfectly to be a coral reef. Interesting. Well, let's draw the crescent moon. See what happens. Or fail. Holy smokes! That's not something you see every day. Wonder if it's safe to walk on that lagoon. Well, let's find out by jumping down here and returning to the ship once more. You can see that we are Moses. We cro we parted the ocean, yo. We are the champion. Also, there is a treasure over here which I'll go ahead and grab with great joy. Well, not really a treasure chest, but a clamshell, my apologies, which has an exorcism slip M. That's pretty nice, but what I'm really interested in is going up here, seeing what's inside the ship. Sunken ship. I told you'd be able to go in here. This door's cursed. They probably sealed it up like that keep looters out. But I've never seen such a sinister looking curse before. I sure hope this whole ship isn't one big curse. So we can't enter. Yet. You can see there's a save mirror, so we're obviously meant to enter at some point. There's no way around the door, so I guess we're just going to have to turn back and leap. However, we will remember this place and we will remember how we got in. For future reference. Okay, let's go. Okay, before we leave, let's go ahead and grab these buried treasures in here, or buried clams, rather. And then we can leave, and then I can show you something. Something that I've been waiting for, for a long time. Glass beads, okay. And anything behind here, probably. Also, this water's really deep, like, that is deep. Nothing over here. Oh, there's something here, okay. Okay. Which is... One thing I don't like about when you uh, uncover chests or something buried... Godly charm! Whoa! Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, that was very worth it. Um, one thing I don't like about buried chests and stuff is when you first, first uh, unearth them, they have a slight period of invincibility, which I don't like because you're not able to open them for a certain amount of time. It's just kind of a, a pet peeve I have because whenever I... I hit them, they just don't hit. How do we get up here? Uh, oh. We could probably get up by canceling the moon's effects by making it daytime. Maybe. Hopefully. Yes, we can, okay. There we are, and no one will be the wiser. So, with that out of the way, uh, this episode is running out of time, but there is one thing I want to cover, and that is over here. We're just going to be doing some backtracking. This is the last thing in our way, uh, the last thing that's between us and going into Seon City. So once we clear out this, which I would like to show, then we're able to go on to the capital of Nippon, which is probably exciting for a lot of you, and it's very exciting for me because we've heard some pretty cool stuff about about uh, the Seon City and we should be able to see those things firsthand so I'm pretty I'm pretty psyched about this okay let's go ahead and go in here and over here you remember there's a hard dig spot well now we can conquer that and go through it into the cave below we will face the bandit spider I get. I bet you guys weren't expecting this, 
we're fighting the uh, Spider Queen all over again. Except this is not the Spider Queen. This is the Bandit Spider. It's received, uh, I believe, a few upgrades, mostly in terms of stats and, of course, aesthetic. So let's go ahead and use the Konoha Konohana uh, Blossoms to open this guy up. You guys probably were, this was the last thing you would have ex expected a boss battle, but sure enough, there's a boss battle here. Let's go ahead and use Power Slash on this. Also, one thing I like about the Bandit Spider that I, uh, that I don't like about the Spider Queen is that they're... The eyes that were inside the um, the abdomen are replaced with Japanese lanterns, which I really like that. Oh, snap. I didn't mean to do that. That was bad. Okay, let's go ahead and get around this guy. Also, the what were once hands are now feet, and they have sandals on, which is interesting. But yeah, I really like the aesthetic of this guy better than that of the Spider Queen. So you can also... You can really notice the uh, the stat boost this guy's gotten because we're using a much more powerful weapon than we used the first time and he's not really flinching that much so let's go ahead and hit him for some good damage um, let's see is there are there any torches about no there are not if there were torches about we could use inferno let's go ahead and get off this guy and use one more exorcism slip uh, let's go ahead and use an s and then I'll take this opportunity to go ahead and use a steel fist sake and then this, we can uh, open this guy up once more and finish him off. Like I was saying earlier, this is the last thing you're expecting. And honestly, also, this is one of his new new attacks, or at least it looks looks different than the Spider Queens. This was the last thing I was expecting a little bit, because I was expecting there to be something else in here. Um, I, I knew the boss was in here, but I thought that we'd have to do something before we reached him. So this is a little bit unexpected for me as well. Okay, let's see. One last blossom. And we can open him up. And walk up and unleash our charge. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go ahead and finish him off. Let's go ahead and use an exorcism slip S. And finish this guy off. Come on. Oh, yeah. I, I fell through. And he died. That was close. There we go. The bandit spider is no more. Very good ranking on time. Uh, damage, meh, that's fine. I, I, I'd rather get a good ranking on time than damage, because time is the hardest to get. Alright. Our reward for this is a sun fragment. There we are. And we collected three, so we have one more unit of health. Isn't that great? Isn't that just dandy? We did it. So now we can leave. With the bandit spider out of the way, that is going to not be it for this episode. What we want to do is actually jump back into this hole. So let's go. If we go back in here... You'll realize also there's fire there, so I could have totally used that against the uh, band spider. But you'll see that there is a devil gate right here. This devil gate is special. This devil gate is hard. And we're going to be tackling it next episode. There's a reward for this, and we want to go ahead and pick that up. Um, this, this devil gate is not your ordinary one, run-of-the-mill one. This is a devil gate trial cave. I believe there are three such caves in this game and all of them are extremely hard this is one of the things where you need to use like all of your items all of your healing items this was one of the things where i had to um i had i had run out of healing items so i had resorted to just using all of the golden peaches i'd collected during the game to just keep getting more lives because i kept dying that much so this is going to be hard and it's going to be covered next episode. And then we'll be able to head into Seon City after we defeat this gate. But before I do so, I'm going to do one last thing in this video. And that is upgrade my divine attributes. Because we have 446 praise. Uh, and I do not want to get any more before I upgrade some stuff. We have a lot of health and ink. I've been feeling we don't have quite enough these days. So let's go ahead and use this on ink. And you know what? We have enough praise left to go ahead and upgrade our health once once more so we have six praise left 
but we have let's see how many is that that's we have eight ink pots and we have nine units of solar energy so we should be able to go into this battle next episode with increased vigor so I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. Loose mode is over, at least it should be. So uh, the next episode should be on a Saturday when it sh when it would normally be. And if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I could make next episodes so that you would like it. So, see you guys next time.